Okay, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what you can actually buy in today's market based on your salary here in my market of Abbotsford, BC, so stick around. I'm that AJ Kelly, I post about Canadian real estate and obviously my local market of Abbotsford, BC. And hey, if you guys appreciate my content, please show your appreciation by subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and if you wanna chat, I got a link in my description down in the, I've got a link down in my description that you can click on and book yourself right into my calendar so we can chat one-on-one. -on -one. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you guys what you can actually buy in Abbotsford based on your salary. Now, there are tons of variables, so this isn't, you know, a concrete 100%. You know, there's things like debt and there's things like your credit score and how much money you're putting down. And all these things go into deciding what you can actually afford. So I'm gonna be using ballpark figures. And even things like strata fees and property tax from property to property and insurance and all of that stuff goes in and heating. I think even your heating bill goes into the mortgage qualification as well. But I can at least get you a decent ballpark. So the amount of money you can borrow on a ballpark basis if you're putting 20% down is 4.15 times your gross annual income. And if you're putting down 5%, the multiple is four times your gross annual income. So let's use some real examples here. So I'm gonna start at 70K per year because I would say it's pretty hard to afford anything under 70K and that's probably the minimum amount of money you need to make to get something decent in this market. So if you're putting down 5%, you can get a 280K mortgage. Now that's just the mortgage, that's not including the down payment. So if we times that by 0.05, your down payment, that gives us a total purchase price of 294,000, meaning you could likely buy this 299,000 one bed, one bath condo located in central Abbotsford. Good location, close to all amenities, you know, the highway, the university, Abbotsford event center. You can walk to, uh, you know, Browns and all that, that little junction there with all the stores and the Starbucks and the everything wine. And there's a faux place there, fa if you will. And it's actually a decent size of 517 square feet and it's built in 2007. So not that old either. And your monthly payment on this would be about $17.50 a month. That's on 5% down. And obviously if you put anything less than 20% down, you have to get mortgage insurance and you can only amortize that loan over 25 years as opposed to 30 years. And that will increase that payment. Now, if you were to put down 20% on a $70,000 annual sal uh, salary, that means we get a $290,000 mortgage times 1.2 hour down payment gives us a purchase price of 348,000. Meaning, we could buy this much bigger one bedroom on Berkwin Crescent, which is 665 square feet. It's listed at 369,000, so a bit above budget, but obviously the goal would be to negotiate this down. And it's been on market for a while, so I think there's a good chance you could do that. And this one is built in 2006. It's a top floor unit, and your mortgage on this would be roughly $1,600 a month. Now let's say we made $100,000. We're going to bump up the budget to a more workable budget here. I think 70K income is, like I said earlier, pretty much the bare minimum to get into the market these days, unfortunately. So we're gonna go with 100K for this. And basically seventy dollars to $90,000 doesn't change your qualification very much, unfortunately. I mean, I guess it does change your qualification, but what's available in the market doesn't really change what you can buy within that qualification, if that makes sense. There's just not a lot of inventory in this price range. So we're going with 100,000 annual salary here. So $100,000 annual salary and 5% down, that gives us a purchase price of 420,000. And like I said, inventory is pretty scarce and there's not a lot to choose from. Currently, I think this is the unit I'd choose here. This is a 2009 ground floor unit, one bed in central Abbotsford listed for 409,000. The interior condition seems to be pretty decent and it's 702 square feet. The mortgage on this one would be $2,400 a month, so not bad. If you make 100K and you're putting down 20%, we're gonna be looking at a purchase price of 500,000, which is getting a lot more workable. And that means at 500,000, we can finally buy a two bedroom condo. And for this unit, I've chose a 2009, 918 two bed located on Pauline Street listed for 499K, which is dead smack in the middle of historic downtown. So great location, you're walkable to a bunch of trendy, cafes there's some pubs there bars uh shopping uh everything is pretty much located within walking distance of this location and as you guys can see this unit has a whole bunch of updates and your mortgage on this would only be about 2300 bucks a month now let's give uh, a more realistic i guess uh scenario let's say you had a spouse and your combined income was 140,000, so two people making 70,000. and on five percent down this is a purchase price of 588,000, which allows us to afford 
afford this 2021 two bedroom condo located on Landau, which is another great location. You're walkable to Superstore and a bunch of other amenities and restaurants. So this unit is a thousand square foot, pretty much brand new. However, the mortgage on any amount over 500K requires a 10% down payment, meaning your blended down payment would be roughly 5.75% for a total of 34,000 and your mortgage would be roughly $3,500 a month for this two bedroom condo in Abbotsford. Now on 20% making $140,000 household income per year, we can now afford a purchase price of 697,000, which means you could buy a townhome, which is probably what I'd recommend. So let's look at this one here. 1991 double car garage, 1430 square feet, three bed, three bath. This is perfect for people looking to start a family and it's only listed at 670. 75,000. So not that bad. And your mortgage here would only be $3,100 for a three bedroom townhome with a double car garage. So for fun, how much money do you need to make to buy a decent detached home here in Abbotsford? And the answer to that is about $220,000 household income. By the way, all of these numbers are assuming that you have no debt whatsoever, like zero, no car payment, no credit card, nothing. This is no debt. You need to make $220,000. So at basically the decent price, price point to, to buy a decent home in Abbotsford, you can no longer put down less than 20% because anything over a million requires you to put down a 20% down payment. And I'd say you need to be spending around 1.1 mil in Abbotsford. So I have chosen this beautiful house on McBride in East Abbotsford. Four bed, two bath, beautiful vaulted ceilings in the living space. It does have some updates. It's 2,700 square feet and built in 1984. Your mortgage on this place at 20% down would be about $5,100 a month to buy a average uh detached home in Abbotsford right now at these current rates and you'd need to make $220,000 a year so anyways that's that I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did subscribe to the channel like this video I'm that agent Kelly and I'm making moves to move you peace